Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the 2022 GMC Sierra. This one is the 3500 HD, and this one has the 6.6 .6 V8. And uh, this is the double cab, and it does have the SLE value package, since this is the SLE trim. It does have the snow prep package, the X31 package, and it does have the gooseneck package. So let me go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood, they're going to be a 6.6 .6 naturally aspirated V8 that is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 401 horses and 464 pound-feet of torque. And uh, this truck does not have any fuel economy numbers. This 3500 does not have the MSRP sticker yet. So here is a print out of the packages this one has. So if you guys are interested in the packages, just go ahead and pause the video. And it is the 2022 3500 and I'm not sure if it's 55,000 before the packages or after the packages. If you guys are interested in the color, the color is called Quick Silver Metallic and it does look pretty good on this 3500. And the front of this Sierra just looks very, very nice and aggressive. And uh, the grill is massive. GMC logo is nice and big, finished in red. And for the headlights, not everything right here in the front is going to be LED. The only thing that is not LED is the turn signal indicators. So I really wish that GMC made the turn signal indicators here in the front LED, but I think the higher trims will have LED turn signal indicators. I love the style of the daytime running light and the high and low beam are LED. They're sitting in reflectors and in the bottom, there are going to be the fog lights. They're LED as well. And the bumper is finished in chrome. And all the way in the bottom, this center section is finished in flat black. And it does have some black tow hooks. And seriously, this grille is massive. It is finished in chrome. And on the hood, there is very aggressive lines. And overall, I think the design looks good. And I personally prefer the design on the Sierra's better than the Silverado's. I did review a 2022 Silverado. It is on my channel. So if you guys are interested in that video, make sure to check it out. And by the way, it does have a uh, the towing mirrors, the power towing mirrors. Uh, they do have turn signal indicators. And uh, basically those mirrors are part of an option. It's a $545 option that you could add to this SLE trim. But let's go ahead and move to the side and I'll show you the side view of this 3500. Here is a side view of this Sierra and this thing is massive and uh, you could actually get an eight foot bed, which is insane with the double cab. So you could get the same exact cab with longer bed, which is crazy. For the side view, nothing too crazy. This is a truck. There are going to be some side markers right there, right on top of the wheels on the plastic uh, fender flares. And there are going to be a 6.6 .6 V8 bed right there and GMC is actually written right underneath that 6.6 .6. and in the bottom of the front door they're going to be a 3500 HD badge and the window trims are finished in chrome and for the mirrors they are part of an option they're power folding and they do have turn signal indicators and they have LED lights and I did mention that they were like 545 but they are actually $510 uh, you could add to this SLE trim and uh, there is a side bed step and there is a back uh, bed step and for the rims they have a really nice look to them the size is 275 70 18 and i think gmc did a great job with the rim design on this sle trim and there is the x31 badge on the bed but let's go ahead and move to the back and i'll show you the back of this gmc here is the back of this 3500 and the back actually looks very good for a work truck and gmc badge is massive right here in the back this one does have the Multi Pro tailgate. It is a $210 option on this 3500, and I really wish that it was uh, standard on the SLE trim. As I said, the GMC logo is massive. It does have a light right here that shines on the ground, and it turns on when you turn on the cargo lights. And even on the mirrors, there is that. There's some LED lights. When you turn on the cargo lights, there is two binds right here. One to open the whole thing down, and the other one is to open just only the f first or the top part. And here is the backup camera. Sierra badge is right underneath the GMC badge, 
it is finished in chrome sle is all the way to the right and this is the spare tire release pin connectors and it does have the hitch receiver and the exhaust is massive and as i said it does have some side steps and of course they are on both sides the bumper is finished in chrome but i really wish that in the back there was uh, some parking sensors because this truck is massive so it would help to have some uh, parking sensors in the back here is a key it does look good it has a really nice weight to it. it feels nice and light and it does have some chrome on the sides gmc is right in the back and it does have five buttons on it lock unlock remote start tailgate release and a panic button to open the tailgate just click double click on the button and that will take care of uh, opening the tailgate and to remote start the truck lock it once and then hold down the remote start button and i forgot to talk about the tail lights but the running light in the tail light housing is led the reverse and the turn signal indicators in the back are halogen and uh if you guys are curious about the size of this bed it is six and a half foot and you could get it in uh, eight foot there is a good amount of tie downs some lights on the right and left and uh, for the tailgate it is very light and this top bind is going to open the top portion so you could use it as a table you could put your laptop on it while working or uh, maybe eat uh, on it if you want to and then there is this bind right here this will open the whole tailgate down I think I have to have the truck unlocked and it does have that nice soft release and you could even drop this down so if you click on the top line it will drop it down like this and what you could do you could open click on this push it down and then you could open this uh, to basically get inside the bed uh, easier this way and I'm not sure if I mentioned but here is the gooseneck the fifth uh, wheel so it is a $545 option and this will basically make getting inside the bed and out uh, much easier but I really like the multi multi pro tailgate and I think it is available on the Chevy's now but uh, definitely a nice option to have I really wish it was standard on this SLE trim. Here is the door handle. It is finished in the same color as the truck. It does not have a sensor right behind it. So to unlock, unlock the truck, you have to click on this button. Here is the front door panel and it has the same design as any other Sierra. The stop portion right here is that synthetic rubber material. I really like the stitching. This is nice and soft, wrapped in leather. Even this is wrapped in leather, nice and soft. I love the wood trim, I think it does look good. And there's going to be this chrome trim right underneath that wood trim. Window switches, mirror controls, everything looks all right. And the door handle is nice and solid. A little bit on the lighter side. It does have the door locks right there. Speaker in the bottom. Very good amount of storage place in the bottom of this door. A bottle holder and this is plastic. Plastic, which is completely fine. Inside, the seats are very nice and comfortable and they are powered seats and the driver's seat does have lumbar support but let's go ahead and move inside this 3500 and i'll show you how it looks like from the inside all right so here is the interior of this 2022 GMC 3500 and interior is nice and spacious windows are nice and large windshield is nice and big as well and seeing out of this truck overall is very very good and uh, the mirrors are nice and big so when towing you could see very easy and you could actually fold those mirrors if you want to so they're power fold mirror with that package But to extend them i think uh i think you could do it only manually i don't think it has the power extending mirrors only the power folding 
and uh, the interior looks good. I really like the design of the steering wheel. There is this opening right here in the bottom. I love this brushed aluminum slash silver uh, trim. GMC logo is finished in red. It does have some chrome around it. And uh, overall, steering wheel looks good. It is a little bit on the thinner side, but it's no big deal. It's a truck. Cruise controls on the left with the heated steering wheel. And on the right is the phone controls, voice command, and few controls to control, few buttons to control the screen in the middle. You could go up and down. Gauges are very easy to read and the font is nice and big. On the left is the wiper controls and on the right is the uh, shifter that will control the six speed automatic transmission in this 3500, does have plus and minus. And on the left, there's a good amount of binds, AC vent, some chrome around the binds and the AC vent. And here is the mode selector. You could toggle through um, normal and off-road. And here are the four-wheel drive controls, four high, four low, two, two high and automatic. This button right here will turn on the light behind the mirror. And this light will turn on the cargo lights uh, and it will turn on the front lights with the back small light by the back, backup camera. Brightness control, headlight controls, fog light controls. And up there, there is a good amount of storage place. And here is a screen. It is an 8-inch screen, but it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And the system itself is nice and responsive. And for the backup camera, backup camera is okay. The resolution is actually not that good. You could turn off the lines, turn them on. And uh, overall, the system is nice and responsive. And uh, it does have a home button right here. There is another home hard button. And a few buttons right underneath the screen. Volume control. This is the tune knob and climate controls are very easy to use. Here are the modes, fan speed, everything displays on the screen, and it does have the temperature right here. It does have dual climate control with an automatic function. And uh, yeah, over, oh, overall, everything is nice and easy to use. It does have heated seats, three stages. Chevy and uh, the GMC, they offer the heated seats uh, two different ways. Basically, you could turn on the back or you could turn the whole seat uh, if you want to, right here is the hill descent button, tailgate release, emergency light button, traction control, and this is a 12 volt, one USB, one USB-C, trailer braking, and here is the engine start stop. And it does have a two tier glove box. Top one is very small, bottom one is actually not too bad. And there's going to be an armrest right here. It is nice and soft, wrapped in leather. Two cup holders with a good amount of storage place around the cup holders. There's one here, there's one here, another one there. Place to put your phone. And you could actually open this and put things inside. And what you could do, you could lift this up. You could let someone sit right here in the middle. It does have a seat belt for a person in the middle. And right underneath, there is more storage place so there is a ton of storage place and up here the rear view mirror looks all right not a big fan of the design of it and uh, it's a little bit on the thicker side the bezels are a little bit on the thicker side but it's no big deal OnStar SOS two binds uh, to control the lights and then this 3500 has uh, some LED lights the visor is a little bit on the thinner side. It is hard, does have a massive mirror, but there is no light. Here is a back door panel, and it does have the same design as the front. Since this one is the double cab, the size of the door is going to be small, and there is not enough space in the back, but it's not too bad. The stop portion right here is plastic. The armrest is nice and soft. This is nice and soft. They did bring the chrome and the wood uh, back here, which is nice. Window switch, door handle feels the same as the uh, front door. This is plastic, plastic, a speaker in the bottom. Good amount of storage place for the back door. And leg room is okay, head room is very good. And as I said, this one is the double cap, so it has less room in the back. There is no armrest, and you're going to be two USBs, one 12 volt. See if I could open it. 112 volt and 
two AC vents. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 GMC Sierra 3500. I would like to thank Luke and Buick GMC here in Wallingford, Connecticut for providing me this GMC. If you guys are interested and if you guys are around, make sure to come check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.